Do you want to rotate your own Twitch clips or other clips in your OBS, but you want them to be picked at random and go through every time one clip has stopped? Here's the tutorial how I got vertical clips in my BWAP back screen, but you can also do this with horizontal clips. First of all, let me show you how it looks on my stream. So this is my normal talking screen. I'm using my camera for recording right now, so I have unplugged it, but normally you will see my camera here. And then we go to the BWAP back screen. Fortnite, we just played Fortnite. Probably all of them, you know, they, they want to sell, you know, they, they got skins of everything. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but we're having fun together, apparently. <laughs> the next clip will play automatically, and now if we go back to the BR back, it will start a new one. You see? He's a teabagging. Get them Mario moves in! And it will stop again. First of all, what we need to start off with is downloading an OBS plugin. We go to this page, which I leave down below in the description, and then here you're gonna go to Windows 64 bit, and you're gonna click on that. It's gonna download, you're gonna click on it again, and you're gonna drag this into the folder where you have the clips in. So for me, my clip folder is right here. You see, I have all my clips that can be played in it, in this map. Again, you could have vertical clips as well. They don't have to be horizontal clips like I have, but I thought it was fun to be different. If you want to see more of my clips, I do have a gameplay channel as well where I post YouTube shorts. I'll leave that up here for you. So as you can see, I've already dragged that in here, random video, but just for a tutorial, let me make a new one by copying some clips and making a new tutorial map. Okay, so that we have four clips in here now and I'm just gonna drag it in here. Okay, now we have the extension in the map where we have the clips in. We're gonna double click on it and run it. Now you get a couple of questions. Do you only want to play one video? No, we want to play all four or all X, doesn't matter how many, no. Do you want to loop the first video? No, because we want to play all of them, so no again. Do you have a transition video? Do you want to play a video between two videos? So if this one goes to this one, do you want like a logo or anything else in between? You can set that here if you want, but we're gonna do no for now. It's gonna make this file right here, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to OBS. Let me just make a new scene. We're gonna click on plus and browse the source. We're gonna call it something memorable so you know which source it is. We're clicking on okay. And then here we're gonna select local file and we're gonna browse to the file. You can browse or you can just open this one, copy this, go back in here, paste it here and we have it. Then we click on this file. It's an HTML file. Remember the HTML file we just made? We're gonna open it. We're not gonna leave it like this. We're gonna copy this, this line and we're gonna untick local file and we're gonna put that as a URL. We're gonna make it 1920 by 1080. We're gonna control the audio via OBS. This is very important to do to make sure that the audio is correct. I'm just gonna remove this. And we need to refresh the browser when scene becomes active. This way it picks a new clip when you refresh it. To save on some CPU space, you can also shut it down when not visible, doesn't have to. And now we'll click on okay. As you see, this video started to play. The frame itself is 1080 by 1920, but the clip is the opposite around. We can also put that in. So if you have horizontal clips, it will just fill the whole thing. If you have vertical clips like me, it will just fill it like this. But a canvas is no bigger than what I just put in, so it doesn't matter how big you make it, as long as you make it big enough. The thing is, you can see that there's audio playing right here, but we don't hear anything. What we want to do is click on these dots, right click on these dots, advanced audio properties, clip tutorial, we're gonna make that either on monitor only, or a monitor and output. This really depends on how you record your audio. If you record your desktop audio in this scene, you're gonna put it on monitor only. If you do not record your desktop audio in this scene, monitor and output. The difference is if you put it on monitor, it only sends it to your headphones. But if you record your headphones as the desktop audio, it will send it to the viewer as well. If you don't do that, you need to monitor. Monitor is what you hear. And output is what the stream hears. So then you need to also send it to the output. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's play it on the floor. What, what do you know about streaming today that you wish you knew when you started blazing uh, a lot of things? And we can just mute it if we want or not. And it will start a new clip. We don't have plenty of clips in this map, right? We only have four, so it plays the same ones over and over now. <laughs> and we can just like... Make it smaller, put it somewhere, make it full screen again. Put it left, put it right. 
fill it up with other graphics. If we have a horizontal clip, we could fill the whole screen with it. Make sure that you leave like BR back or something because otherwise people think that you're live streaming and this is live. It's not live, right? What I did is I actually have multiple layers of things. You can just make one image, but what I did is I have the socials here that I put in. Uh, the clip group, but in the clip group there's clips, but there's also the pink in here. We also have the background with the star. We also have for the BR back, we have this picture, we have this pink border, and we have got the background. I used to have music on it, but it's muted right now because, well, we have the clip already playing and sometimes there's music in it, so I don't want that to overlap. So that's how I randomize clips on my BR back screen. Do you want to know more cool things you can do with OBS? I do have a playlist here with cool OBS tutorials, so I'll see you right there. And don't forget to follow my gameplay channel as well, because we have cool gameplay videos on there and you don't want to miss any of them. I swear. You don't want to miss any of them.